Welcome! This is a little experiment I'm trying to do. This is a liquid ultra. Uh, this is like thermal basting and simple. I'm gonna try to modify this GTX 680 and see if this this is any good. I <laughs> put this on my CPU but uh, then my CPU bracket broke in half and I had to take it all off. So. So I didn't really get any uh, stable results, but I know that this card goes up to 73 degrees <laughs> Celsius with all the fans on, which is actually not so good cooler. But I'm gonna test it out and see how it goes. First I need to take this apart, which is gonna be challenging, I'd say, but... Um, it's gonna also break the warranty on it, but I don't think it even has it. It's in here. This is an old card which I've had for like three years or something, I don't know. But, uh, I don't know, I need to take it apart somehow. Because the GPU is other side of this, that is the GPU. And yeah, I had like a small heatsink on top of that, but that didn't really work, so. Uh, I don't know, let's get started, let's try to take this thing apart first. Alright, so I had to move the camera a little bit because I don't have uh, access. I'm not sitting like under the camera, I'm sitting in this way, so... But, um, I don't know, let's just get some screwdrivers in here first and let's see how this thing works then. I have no idea how to take this cooler off. I would assume that I need to take these screws off and then it just comes off because, um... Or not. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I need to take this plastic off. And I don't think I need to touch the fans either. I mean obviously the fans need to get power but um, I did clean the fans and I remember that fan wire ran somewhere. I don't remember where. Oh well, I guess I have to take this off. This thing. This is... Um, it seem to be normal screws I think. I don't know. Oh my god, it's still dusty. I did clean it with that. Oh my god, stop it. Why are you doing to my review area, you stupid card? Uh, yeah, I see the fan wires. They're like under there, tucked in there. But, um, well, I think I need to take these screws off and that's, that's how the cooler comes off. So, at least that's my um, assumption. But I've never done this before, so let's, let's try this. Um, Oh my god, they're not even stuck in there, but that's the wrong screwdriver, actually. I'm looking for a better one. Of course, it's the last one. Uh, let's try. Uh, if you're doing this, you have to be extremely careful that you don't scratch any of the board with the screwdriver. You have to hold uh, the screwdriver very firmly. Uh, this has to come off. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, seriously? Can't they just like break the seal or something? Yeah, I can actually. There we go. You don't have to take it off. You can just <laughs> screw it off. Okay. I've never done this before, but it is under stress. Some stress at least. So, uh, hopefully it's not going to fly off. I don't really know. To be extremely careful. I think it's off, and don't scratch it with this bracket itself. So uh, that thing is off. So what next? What next? Does it just pop out? Uh, let's try this. Ta-da! And it's off. Uh, that's the fan wire I was talking about. Oh crap! I need to take it off the screen for a second. All right. So this fan wire. This should just pop out. There we go. Uh, so that is the 680. Let's put it this way first. I'll show you the fan wire in here. This is quite light actually. That's the one I was talking about. That just popped pop out from there. And that is the cooler. That's the thermal paste in here. Yeah, it's not actually hard as rock, so. Why do they put so much? It's it's like little kid has like <laughs> splattered it all over. Like, come on! It's a factory stuff. Why why do they do this? Ugh. How I'm gonna clean this off. Damn. Let's see. 
Yep, that is that is a lot of thermal paste. I don't think I have to actually, I'm not gonna clean the sides, see it has like on the sides. I don't think I'm gonna actually clean the sides because um, the liquid ultra, I can't put it on this side because there's thermal paste in there and that's gonna leave a mark on my review area. But yeah guys, all this, this entire heat sink is just to cool this tiny chip and that tiny chip even under all this it still goes up to 73 degrees celsius crazy isn't it but anyway uh, i need to clean it off i have some uh, thermal paste um, remover and a surface cleaner you have to be careful with these don't just put them on because this is electronics guys this is uh care you gotta be careful you know this stuff conducts electricity and so does this i believe because this is metal based that's why it's liquid ultra it's some kind of a liquid based metal which is supposed to be a lot better than any normal thermal pastes but um, i'm gonna find it out so definitely gonna be better than the default one i get but i guess i don't know what the fuck i'm saying but we'll see i don't have much left maybe just or one or two but first I'm gonna use this thing I guess and then some clot it's like <laughs> okay um, I have used it before that's that's why it's like that and this thing you don't just put in the middle you have to brush it like all over it that's what I can use for the graphics card I'm gonna put it on that uh, I'll start from this I guess this one so just clean this off that's that's pretty easy actually and looks like it's been done already it's like scratched well it was a factory refurb when I bought it so that was like I think that was my secondary card in SLI so I just grabbed something uh, this is not my primary card I have a 680 hall of fame at the moment but well that's that's good for now that's that's not finished it's not uh, finished but um, uh, I guess I can just put it on top of this there we go and let's clean this baby off then yeah this paste is all over the freaking place <laughs> okay that should be done See, that's what I meant, it's it's stuck now in there, but whatever. Nice mirror surface, actually, look at that. So, um, that's that's not finished, as I said, I'll put this in there. Didn't need the thermal base remover, but we do need uh, this one, which is a purifier. You don't actually need it, but... Uh, right, so, I actually checked it for a second, and... I decided I'll do another mod for it, but first, um, gotta be careful with this. Just uh, take any kind of clot, clean clot, and just put the drop on it, I guess. That's enough, you can't really see it, but it is there. I can already feel it on my finger, and just do this. I think it's alcohol based, well it doesn't really matter on this, you can clean a lot, look at that, see? You didn't see it with your eye, but look at that, that's that's disgusting, so let's get this out of the way. Uh, this, you gotta be careful, because like I said, this thing conducts electricity, well you can actually, yeah, I could just pour it all, all over it, but... <laughs> and then let it dry but it's not really you know recommended to do that so is there anything coming out from here there we go just a tiny drop and let's try to clean this and two circles with it i forgot to mention god damn it well i think that's clean now so put this back on uh, from what I understand, you see these edges in here, 
uh, this design is like so this should be filled actually with thermal paste I guess but I can't put liquid ultra in there because it conducts electricity under, under that there is a circuit board so I have to put the actual thermal paste in there and then put the liquid ultra on top of that not on top of the thermal paste <laughs> obviously so I have I have um, I see diamond in here and I have arctic silver 5 that's what I'm going to use. I only have a drop left of this and well I like to have some security you know in case something goes wrong I need to use it so I'm gonna use this one. Uh, let's put this on the sides so let's just like because if you don't fill the air chest then the air is gonna get trapped in there and it's just gonna get really heat up I need to see what I'm doing so alright and this is how it looks like the final result so once I put the heatsink on it should squash it a little bit but um, the rest is liquid ultra so I got two little brushes in here I think this is already I'll use the new one even though this one works it's not like it's not a paintbrush you know but I'll use the new one so here goes the liquid ultra Ooh, look at that. Alright, let's do it. Just a tiny drop on top. Tiny drop on top. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Son of a... I hope I got enough out. I don't know why it, why it was stuck like this, but that should do it actually. I don't know. Maybe it simply ran out, but I think it just ran out, but I should have enough in here, as you can see. And uh, now I have to just uh, do this. I need to see what I'm doing. It's like Quicksilver. And this is how the final result looks like, I guess. So I think I think I'm done with this. So all I need to do is put the heatsink back on, and that's it. Let me just examine it. Okay, it's done. So let's put the brushes and stuff away, and let's put this back on and see what happens. So first, I need to put the fans back on. Uh, I think that's all cleaned, and that's it. So let's do it. Let's put the fans first. All right, the fans are operational. Is it the right way, the Phantom? Wait, which way does it go? Ah, uh, yeah, I think it goes this way. I'm pretty sure. Was it? No, it can't go other way. Fucking stupid. All right, let's do it. Is that in the right place now? I don't know but I need to turn it around hold it and whoops there we go so let's see if I caught it actually in the right place I believe it's in the right place so let's put this bracket back on and screw it back on uh. all right Oh, my hand is shaking, I don't know why. Son of a... Okay, one screw is halfway in. The other screw is... not going anywhere. There we go. The rest of two screws should be easy. <laughs> Alright, it's going. And the last thing, it's like with car wheel, you should uh, tighten it from like across. This one, this one, this one. And this one and this one. This screwdriver is not the best for it to be honest. Trying to use uh, this big screwdriver 
I should have actually used that. That goes perfectly. Oh crap. That goes absolutely perfectly. Careful. Okay, I think that's as done as it goes. I still don't know how I managed that. But that's it, I think the liquid ultra is run out. I'm gonna actually clean this edge and see how much do I have in here. Yep, I ran out, that's... <laughs> I was like pressing... <laughs> okay, so that's that's it, that's done. That's how uh, little I had in there, so... Good that I didn't try it on my CPU because I didn't have enough. But now the test results, so I don't know how well it's gonna work. I'm gonna plug it back in the machine and the results are gonna be well I'm not gonna leave them in description I'll just show you some kind of an craft or something awesome and that's it well guys this uh, mod actually worked out better than I expected <laughs> yes that's a freaking picture not a screenshot because the other PC doesn't have any tools to take a screenshot with and I just needed it real quick so uh, I have two crafts in here, let's zoom out on this one. I just took uh, quick pictures on the monitor and that's it. You can clearly see them so no problem. This is when it started, that's where it started. It climbed, climbed and 66 as you can see is the max. And the fan speed it wasn't even 100% as you can see. See 93 was the max. So, And here I turned it manually on maximum the speed. And it went down actually. Now it's fluctuating between like 64 and like 60. And before, guys, it was 71 to 73. That is incredible, I have to say. I did not expect that. I was hoping to get maybe 68 degrees, 69, but damn. So that default thermal crap, well, it's crap. So I'd say it's worth it. But then again, it uh, depends what you compare it to it highly depends here's one of the pictures where I took it apart nice shiny and I filled these holes as you saw so that played a little bit little bit in there too but um, I don't know what thermal base this is the default one what they use but I'd say it's definitely worth it so if you have graphics card rip it apart put some liquid ultra or some uh, really high quality stuff in there and you're gonna get the good five degrees off i'd say but that's it hope this helps we'll see you next time